Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I let me use this medium to say thank you, thank you for everyone. You're returning to view uh, my videos for your likes, for your comments, your feedbacks, the subscription. I am really grateful. Thank you, everybody. For this session, I just want to quickly address something that has become an epidemic. It's it, it it's it's close to being a pandemic, and and it's really disgusting. This is this the attitude of people who have titles. Young, old, middle age, everybody wants to be addressed as father, mother, daddy, mommy, spiritual father, spiritual mother. And it just makes my skin crawl every time I hear those people or see people who do that. Whatever happened to the scripture that says we should call nobody father? Yet it is those people who claim to be of God who indulge in this habit. How else are you supposed to know that these are not of God? Where, where everything they engage in just point to the fact, is screaming the fact that they are not of God. Dearly beloved, apart from your father and mother, all those people, irrespective of whatever titles they've given to themselves, are not worthy to be called father or mother. Growing up, thank God, I didn't grow up, I wasn't born in a place where godfathers, godmothers were rampant. Until I came to the Western world, that became a thing which I got to know and bless my God children. However, I do not go imposing on them. They contact me when they want to. I've not heard from the few that well, they're not so many, about two of them. I don't heard from them in like a year. They're grown now. However, God parents are supposed to help you, guide you, nurture you, nurture you as well, nourish you, and help you along the path of life. Not the God fathers and mothers we see today. Case in point, that creature who called herself the God mother and was called, addressing Ruth Matthew as her daughter, the, the cheek, the disrespect. She's only in her 40s, early 40s for that matter. And Ruth Matthew is her goddaughter. Ruth Matthew is how old? Is her daughter, not just God, God her daughter. For goodness sake, if you're 10 years old, can you give birth to, to a child? And, and someone you called your daughter, you turned, you did the 360 degrees turn against her. And now you're the one crucifying and throwing her to the dogs, the vultures, vampires of the world. What sort of mother are you? Have you got children of your own? Maybe you do not have, because if you did, you would know how to address children, how to look after your children. Irrespective of what they, they do, what crimes they commit, they remain your children. Mothers do not turn against their children. Never. Not any sane mother. Yes, the sick ones, the lost mothers, the mothers who shouldn't be mothers, will do that. Godfather, Godmother, everybody. Yes, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. Yes, Papa. Yes, Mama. Everybody. You see old men who, who are supposed to, and women who are supposed to be grandparents to so those little idiots will be referring to them as Papa, Mama. My goodness, what a lost world. 
How did the tables turn? When did the tables turn? Where is the respect that people used to pride themselves of having? Today we have the fathers and mothers, spiritual fathers and mothers, who are the ones destroying their spiritual children. Where a so-called papa, father in the Lord, would be in bed with the daughter in the Lord. Where a so-called mother in the Lord would attack the, the children. You would curse them. You would say nasty things. You want everybody around you to call you. I don't blame those people. Only someone who's empty, you haven't got anything in yourself that would make you appear as someone who, who has worth. You're the only person who would come around looking to be addressed as mother, father. To think that that, that, that happiness creature made Chantel to be calling her mommy. It's just so disgusting, Chantel. You aided and abetted her in that stupid behavior. Well, I'm glad that you finally saw the light. Not everyone is qualified to be called father or mother. If they do not deserve it, do not give it to them. Yes, we can pay respect to people. But then it shouldn't be the norm. Everyone who comes up because just because they're older or they bear some reckless, empty, useless titles, they become father or daddy. Ew. I just feel so disgusted. Guard yourselves. If you do not have parents in the world anymore, maybe your parents have passed on to, to the world beyond, God can become your father and mother. You can prayerfully find someone, people who occupy that role for you. It doesn't have to be any of the vampires, any of those people who would destroy you eventually, who would turn against you, who would cheat you, lie to you. I know folks who found people that they were going to get married to, but just because they're, they're evil Authority in their lives in the name of Father in the Lord, spiritual father, spiritual mother. They gave up those relationships. They were misled. Dearly beloved, let us not fall into this. There's too much of the foolishness going on, manipulation, and people are walking into these things. Prophets in the Bible led communities, their cities. They called the shut. They even led the, the government of the day. They said words from God. These people you parade yourselves and call your fathers in the Lord. They've been, they, they, they are the worst of the worst. The dregs of the society. The scumbags of the earth. People are coming to defend them. Call them fathers of well, Fathers of not the faith I, I, I identify with. No, not my faith in the most high, merciful Father, God Almighty. That's not the God these people represent. None of these people, imposters, titled people, is a father of faith. They are the failures, the ones who are leading people en masse to hell from the church pews. But I thank God for the Enlightenment series for the awakening that's taking place, for the eyes of people that are opening, the scales that are falling off people's eyes. The Spirit of God is moving. Do not be left behind. Stop deceiving yourself. These people do not care about you. As far as they can dig into your pockets, maybe get into other areas of your life, they will be comfortable with you. But the moment you wake up and turn, and stopped being used by them, they will turn against you. Be wise. Be wise. Prayerfully ask God to lead you, to guide you, if you desperately need a father or mother. For goodness sake, 
some of you are parents yourself. How do you, what's their relationship between you and your children? How then are you able to condone the silliness that these fake people put up around you? God, mother, God, father. And you willingly throw them away. It is an epidemic growing into a rapid pandemic. It needs to stop. As long as there are people who are willing, who, who are looking, say, chasing after them just because they move around with the title, they, they come and talk, say big, empty, nonsense words to you, doesn't make them any better than you before God. We're all the same where God is concerned. Be warned. Beware. Be weary. Run away from the God fathers, from the spiritual fathers and mothers. I can't believe people would refer to certain of them, my spiritual father. That disgrace was some, what, this prophet, prophet, rubbish, Jeremiah, Apiles, Emeka, Cassie. People who call all those things. That's a gather creature, liar. People who call them their fathers in the Lord. I'm just disgusted right now. Anyways, I will stop here. See you guys later.